TikTok six. Had to be bribed with boba to do this. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. TikTok reaction part six. Is the internet ever going to end? I don't know. What the hell this thing is? It's a toe bag. What? When I was training, we would stuff our shoes <gasps> full of body dysmorphia and shut up. Body dysmorphia? <laughs> Everybody now get rid of your toe pads. All you're going to be stuffing into your shoes is disappointment and <laughs> That is so crazy. That's so true. Oh my gosh. This is uh, too accurate. <laughs> Full point shoe prep in 20 seconds. Crunch, crunch. Oh, I love that sound. This is an arm workout. Oh, yes. Three quartering the shank. So satisfying. Cut, cut. Yes. That was hard. Taking down the sole. Oh my gosh. Scratchy. Sorry. Scratchy. <laughs> Sorry, neighbors. Oh, so mischievous. Sewing time. <gasps> and That's I'm so all done. amazing. This is actually a very normal point shoe hack. Don't do this at home, kids. If you want your point shoes to last more than two classes, yeah, don't do this. But a lot of professionals do this because they only need your point shoes to last for two classes because they get free shoes. How I think ballet companies should walk. Wow, pretty. Wow. That's so accurate about New York City that way. That's hilarious. Yes, all legs in Pacific Northwest. I can't get over New York City Valley. That is so accurate. Oh my gosh. Who are you? She's so pretty. What a pretty dancer. So pretty. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That is a frightening, frightening moment. I hope she's okay. Welcome to my ballerina foot tour, Aww, where I tell you so why pretty. I wear these point shoes instead of any of these or any of the thousands of other models available. Gainer Minted. This is the box. They can be square tapered or anywhere in between. What the freak? What is that? Oh, disclaimer, not a real point shoe. I was so confused for a second. I need a square box. However, my metatarsals are compressible, so I still need a slight taper. If a shoe is too square, there'll be a lot of pressure on the tips of the toes, which will be painful and unstable. That's, That's true. Height of the box is called the crown. I need a low crown because my forefoot has a low profile. Yeah. This is called the vamp. Yes. I have short toes, and usually people with short toes like a lower vamp so they can roll through the shoe easily. But a high vamp gives more support to flexible oh, feet. Oh, good my girl. Arches also mean I oh my gosh, she has pretty feet. Holy noodle. Hard shank. That's this part. This will keep my feet stable and supported as the shoe starts to break down. It's a point shoe graveyard. Shank is also important. My arch bends low, so I need a relatively short shank. It's called a three quarter shank. If the shank is too long, it won't sit flat against my arch and it will eventually snap. Pretty good. It's painful if the shoes are fit correctly. But if you have the wrong shoes, you might die. True. Amen. Wow, that was really good. Jennifer McCloskey, call me. Be through the earth, they're so tired. Damn, take this wish. Was, I don't to <gasps> what is this voice? And it's at this time. So this is the, I know it looks rude, but if I don't hold them, I rib cage it might collapse. This is the, I'm actually just holding up my entire torso with my arms. This is the, I know I look like I'm stretching, but I'm really just having <laughs> a way to sit. <laughs> See, oh, that's so true. <laughs> Everyone can relate to this. People always say point shoes will destroy my feet. So I'm going to show them to you. They are obviously perfectly normal. Wait, is this distorted? I'm trying to see if this is photoshopped. Is this photoshopped? Because this is traumatizing. It is, okay. Oh my gosh. You should not get bunions and point shoes. You should not. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually have a genetic abnormality that makes my feet better for point than anybody else's. EDS? I only have four toes. I'll show you. There's one, two, three, four, and that's just a skin tag. <laughs> Okay, I was straight up expecting four toes because I have fitted a dancer with no toes. I fitted a dancer with no toes and I've also fitted a dancer without one foot. She had a prosthetic foot that we just kind of put the shoe on top of. So I was 100% expecting her to not have a toe, but that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> Pretty feet. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> that is some skill.
heels. I've actually tried to do that once and I think I bruised my hip bone because like I could not do this. This is insane. It's actually very difficult. Bravo. Non-dancers, which one is the wish shoe and which one is the real shoe? Come on, you guys. I'm curious if it's obvious. She actually looks pretty good, which is frightening. What? I've worn those shoes before. You must have insanely beautiful feet. I don't know. Is it clear to you guys? Comment below if you guys can tell the difference, but it's like very obvious from even when she was standing flat, which one was a wish shoe. If anyone's going to make the wish point shoe work, it's you, girl. And a gainer Minden on the right foot. So I've been dancing on toe. I love this girl. Bianca, we meet again. I just want to say, if you're a hater, just log off. Don't even waste your time commenting because I'm just going to block you. I am a real ballet dancer and I'm as good as they get, so thanks. Apparently you're supposed to have toe pads. Well, sorry, but I don't have those. But I do have this kind of pad, so I'm going to use it. This is extra long, so I'm just going to rip it. Step one, just fold it over your oh, face. Put your toe shoe on. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Has anyone tried this? It absorbs the sweat. It has enough padding. I guess it's just like expensive or like it's disposable. But yeah, I think this is actually a really good idea. Is that weird? I don't know. Into a bunny knot. And you're ready to dance on toe. So now to prove that I'm a real ballet dancer, I'll show you a dance. Yes. This is the, my brother dancing. <laughs> it's so good. I love her. No! What? And that's how you twist your ankle and die. No, you guys, are you still doing this? Are we still on this? No! I got my point shoes. Ah! No! Ah! No! I thought we talked about this, you guys. I thought we talked about this. I thought it was over. <laughs> no! <laughs> There's more? <laughs> no! Oh. <sighs> okay, I can get on board with it. That was okay. I feel like that was a Capizio on the left. Aw, Brittany! Hi! As a ballet dancer, people are always asking you. Are your feet ugly? Are they disgusting because you wear point shoes? And I am here to put this rumor to rest and to let you know they are. <laughs> and here you go. <laughs> no! Ouch. Oh, Brittany. No! No! Is this allowed? Are we allowed to show this on the internet? I will say from fitting this girl, she has very, very wide feet. And if you're wearing shoes that are too narrow, which happen often when you have wide feet, your pinky toenail tends to fall off because your shoes are generally too narrow for you. Gorgeous feet though. Hi Brittany, we love you. Well, that was TikTok reaction number six. If you want to keep going with this, comment that you want more of these. I'll see you guys soon.